The U.S. military was hugely embarrassed last month when a top secret video showed up online, posted by a little known group called WikiLeaks. The site was founded by a mysterious Australian named Julian Assange, who has now gone into hiding. The video made in 2007 shows U.S. Army helicopter gunships preparing to fire on a group of Iraqis who included children and photographers for the Reuters news organization. Come on, fire! The U.S. had kept this tape a closely held secret and its appearance on WikiLeaks led to a full federal investigation. Last month, the military detained a 22-year-old U.S. Army intelligence analyst for allegedly leaking it. And now WikiLeaks founder Assange has gone underground, fearful that U.S. authorities will try to arrest him as well. He's part of a movement called the Iceland Modern Media Initiative that seeks to make that country a safe haven for journalists and government whistleblowers, as he described in this recent posting on YouTube. It includes the right of a, uh, a source to expect confidentiality from a media organization if the media organization uh, promises confidentiality. It protects the communication derived from a confidential source within a media organization and its contractors. It includes protection of mere conduits, that is ISPs and other common carriers uh, who are not involved in editorial level but are simply conveying um, the output of journalism uh, to the public. While Assange remains underground, we are joined today by Birgitta Jan's daughter, a member of the Icelandic parliament who has worked closely with WikiLeaks and Assange. Birgitta, thank you very much for joining us today. Let me start by asking you, where is Julian today? Well, that's a mystery. Uh, you, no comment. <laughs> you, you are in, in touch with him? Yes, and what every is, day. And what is his concern? Why has he gone into what appears to be hiding? Well, he's just been following events in the U.S. and uh, State Department uh, press conferences and so, so forth, and uh, they have been trying to get hold of him because of uh, uh, apparent or alleged uh, leaks from um, a soldier in the U.S. Army uh, who has been detained in Kuwait. Uh, and obviously Julian Assange uh, does not necessarily want to have a chat with him about any leaks. Is Julian concerned that he might also be detained or uh, somehow arrested by the United States? Yes, very much so. Uh, he has sent out messages to people who follow him on Twitter that there might be yet another tape that he has a possession of that shows uh, U.S. military actions in Afghanistan now as opposed to Iraq. Is that true? Uh, yeah, he has been uh, saying that on Twitter. We will see what happens, which, uh, with what will be uh, the next big leak from WikiLeaks, but uh, something's coming soon. Uh, it was described in his uh, Twitter message that it was a kind of massacre, is the word he used. Mm -hmm. Is that your uh, understanding? It's, it's worse than the Iraqi one, actually. It's worse than the Iraqi one? Yes. And when do you expect that to uh, be posted on uh, WikiLeaks? Uh, hopefully very soon, uh, but for security reasons we uh, choose not to give exact timings and so forth when we uh, will actually publish it. Let me ask you now about the action taken by the uh, parliament of which you're a member in Iceland. Essentially you've created a massive international shield law for journalists and whistleblowers to feel safe in Iceland. Is that correct? Uh, well actually we propose, we task the government to do this. Uh, to uh, create a sort of a, a safe haven for, in particular, investigative journalism in Iceland, uh, uh, but also for sources, uh, strengthening source protection and whistleblower protection uh, that might be useful for other countries uh, than Iceland. Last night it was actually voted on anonymously uh, and even the government supported it. It was unanimous, so, you're saying? Un I'm unanimous. I'm quite happy. <laughs> wow. Let me ask you, the, the WikiLeaks story has been a hot topic in the webosphere this week and one of our Twitter followers sent me a message saying, I will take Assange more seriously when he is willing to be open about his process. The irony of his secretiveness frustrates me. What do you say about that? Is he being too secretive? Uh, no, not at all. I think uh, <clears throat> our primarily, uh, primarily uh, concern is to protect our sources. 
or the people that are willing to submit material to Wikileaks. And so far, we have not lost any sources. Um, uh, or reveal, none of our sources have been revealed through the Wikileaks process. So it is extremely important that this, that part of Wikileaks is not transparent. Brigitte Gansdotter, thank you so much for joining us today from, from Iceland. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you can join in on the discussion on our Facebook page or by following me on Twitter.